So, you need help. How would you go about getting it? Hmm? How the, are you going to do that? Yo, what's up, world? My name is Romel Williams. First off, I just want to thank you for taking the time to even stop and check out this video. Um, just a little short, quick thing I'm pulling together. Um, I'm just going to get straight to the point. The topic of this video is, I mean, you already know about the title of it, but the topic of this video is asking for help. Um, speaking from experience, I know how tough it can be for some men to ask for help. It's one of the toughest things we can do. Like I know, for example, with myself, I will literally be down to my very, very last dime, my last crumb, shit, damn near on my last breath before I ask somebody for anything just because I do not like asking somebody for something. It's just part of that male ego, that male pride that prevents a lot of us from being able to ask for help even when we truly need it. Um, a lot of times it's not even about ego with some people. Some people just don't know how to ask for help. And what I mean by that is I remember certain situations, especially when you, you know, really need it and you reach out to someone and they can't help you. And for some reason, it makes you feel a certain way. You know, it makes you feel like you can't go to anybody. So you just start abandoning that altogether. You abandon that altogether and you just start doing everything on your own. Like I know for like say in the black community, we have a it's, it's it's a sense of pride to be able to say that nobody helped you. You did this on your own. And you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that's with everybody, but I'm just speaking from my experience. It can be with black, white, whatever. But I know with black people in general cuz I'm black, I know that we have a, a, a we take great pride and saying that we were able to do something on our own without the help of someone else. Even how, even though it may be like super stressful, it can be super tiring, whatever it is, just to be able to say you did it yourself is a sense of pride, something we look forward to. But you don't know how detrimental that can be to you, how harmful that can be to your mental and emotional well being. Just because you're trying, you're putting yourself through so much because you just refuse or don't know how to ask for help. And the reason I'm bringing this up tonight, well, today, is because so many people are having mental health issues right now. And a lot of it comes from being overstressed. And a lot of it comes from being overstressed because people feel like they don't have anyone that they can go to for help. Or, like I said, that ego just won't allow them to do it or they don't know how to do it. And one of the main keys to success is asking for help. Like a lot of people don't realize that. Um, building wealth is one of those things. Like one of the keys to building wealth is don't use your own money, especially like in real estate and do stuff like that. They tell you not to use your own money to secure funding. Uh, a form of securing funding is getting loans and, um, you know, finding investors, stuff like that. Um, that's a form of help. That is a form of help. So in order for, for these people to be able to do the things that they want to do in life and to accomplish the goals that they want to accomplish in life, they have to ask for help, asking questions, trying to learn new information. Um, all of these things are imperative. These are forms of asking for help and successful people do not have any problem doing it. But where a lot of us get mixed up is we feel like, oh, I'm tough. I'm resilient. I was able to do this on my own. You are not living your life to the best potential or you're not being the best version of yourself that you can be simply because that one thing is holding you back. You don't know how to ask for help. Like I say, successful people know and understand that that's a key to success. They know that you have to ask for help in order to get to the places you want to be in life. So the reason I was sharing this topic, like I said, was to just share that with you guys so you can understand the importance of it. Um, if you're trying to get over certain hurdles to try to get to the places where you want to be in life, you definitely need to understand that it's important to try to put that ego aside. 
guys, my fellas, put that ego aside. Learn how to ask for help. Learn how to ask questions. Put yourself in a position to be the best you you can be and to try to be successful. You know what I'm saying? The old saying goes, a closed mouth don't get fed. So don't be out here, fuck around and starve yourself because you don't know how to ask for help. Till next time. Yeah.